Today on Performance TV, we check out a saw blade company that is a cut above the rest. We show you how to upgrade that caddy and make it run like new. We'll compare some rust removal options and show you who's the winner. And check out a product that will help all of your engines from small to sky high. Welcome to this week's edition of Performance TV. Before we get started today, I have a little business to take care of, and that is introducing a brand new member of the Performance TV team, Joe Costello. Joe, you are so involved in motorsports, NHRA announcer, and so much more. Welcome to the show. I am super excited to join the team here at Performance TV. The shop is awesome. We've got cars, we've got machines. I love it already. You know, and you're into all types of racing, and we've got a pretty cool sprint car here that I know you're gonna tell us more about here in a few minutes. Such passion, the dirt track fans, the racers, their doers, their hands-on, and we're gonna learn more about it. All right, well, we're gonna do that here in just a few minutes, but as we can see, this car is sponsored by sawblade.com. What do you say we find out more about the company? And to do that, we're gonna speak with Chris from sawblade.com. Now, Chris, the website's been around for a little less than a decade, but the company has been around for a very long time. We started about 31 years ago in Houston. Oh, wow. And, and it's not just the, the saw blades. I mean, we see machines here. You guys have a, a whole line to help out folks. We're really kind of the complete sawing solution. We sell everything from machines, uh, blades, replacement parts. Okay. So a lot of these are uh, the portable stuff that you're going to see the, the folks use. Yeah, we sell a, a pretty wide line of machines, everything from production cutting all the way down into the portable stuff. So basically, we cut everything from airplanes to fences. Oh, wow. And you know, you even have some specialty machines as well, which we see here. We do. This is our Trajan 700. This is uh, our newest machine. And uh, we realize that most cutting is under two inch and below. This has a two inch capacity and it's very quick. It's very affordable and has a low cost per cut. Well, we see the machines, but to keep the machines going, I mean, that's really what you guys are all about. And that's what we see with the saw blades here. It is, we're really in the blade business. We sell all types of blades. We're one of the larger industrial suppliers of bandsaw blades. We sell wide selection of bandsaw blades, carbide circular saw blades. We even have small roller tables to, to position the work up to the portable machines. Yeah, and this is something pretty special for you guys too. This is, this is a new product that uh, one of our employees invented and we patented it. It's a portable roller that you can use on all types of portable machines, both circular and bandsaw. Okay, so we see all this stuff sitting here, but what I'm really impressed by is, what's this deal with the Subaru? Last year we uh, wanted to show the diversity of our saw blades. We could cut anything, so we bought a Subaru car and cut it in half at one of our customers, Houston Metal Cutting. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's, that's pretty impressive. And, and so is the fact that sawblade.com is involved in racing. Now, why the marketing partnership that you guys have? The marketing partnership started by one of our employees. Uh, we have a lot of motorheads out in the shop. And so uh, they came up and thought that it would be a good a good partnership for us. It, it's really essential because our customers have a high loyalty to motorsports. And what that does is that puts us directly in front of our customers. So if we go to the races and we go to the, uh, the shows such as SEMA or PRI, we can actually put the machines in their hands and sure. get immediate feedback out of it. Okay, well I like that idea and I also like that we're going to find out a little bit more about the team. Let's check in with Joe. Kathy, we're here with Tommy Bryant, who drives the number 28 sawblade.com sprint car in the American Sprint Car Series. Tommy, how long have you been driving sprint cars? I've been driving sprint cars for 14 years. I started out racing, though, when I was four years old, racing quarter midgets in California. When you're out there touring the country, it's got to be great to meet fans who are passionate about what you're doing while at the same time competing at a high level. Yeah, you know, the fans that we have with sprint car racing, uh, they're second to none. They're, they're so passionate about the sport. You know, they'll, they'll drive hours just to go to a dirt track and get mud thrown at them. You know, we really have a great group of people behind us. And uh, like I said, they're second to none. These machines are direct drive, 360 cubic inches. What about the thrill of hammer down off the corner trying to make a pass? Yeah, there's no adrenaline rush better, than, in my opinion, than, than racing a sprint car. I, I love it on a short track, and I love it on the big tracks. These cars are just, they're violent. You know, you have 700 horsepower, nearly 600 foot-pounds of torque, direct drive. 
fuel injected 30 inches of tire in the rear across the back. I mean, these things, are just, they're hooked up and they're fast. And every now and again, you tear up something. It must be great to have Sawblade as a sponsor. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we don't, we don't need that stuff too often. But uh, yeah, they are a big help to us. And, uh, you know, they really get us a lot of attention. You know, we appreciate everything they do for us. It's got to be great to have passionate fans who are also doers and use your product. For more information, check out the website, sawblade.com. We'll have more Performance TV after this. Performance TV is being brought to you by Evaporust, Super Safe Rust Remover, SXS Gear, Gear Up for Any Terrain, Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977, and by Slip and Grip, vehicle service products. Welcome back to Performance TV. Cadillac has had some great cars over the years and some high technology, like the North Star. But occasionally there are some problems. Jake Weeb from North Star Performance has a patented solution to one of the common ones. Jake, tell us about the problem and how you solved it. Well, basically, um, they're a wonderful design, this engine from the factory. They've, they've been installed in, uh, I believe it's around 2.5 million vehicles, all across the GM line from Cadillacs to Oldsmobile Auroras, Pontiac Bonneville GXPs have them, Buick Lucerne, some of those. And, you know, it's, it's a wonderful design. Um, they make great power, great fuel economy, 300 horsepower, so over a horse per cubic inch in some of the models. But the one inherent problem that they have is the head bolts will actually there will be galvanic corrosion that forms in the threads in the engine block and the head bolts will actually let go. So you lose your clamping force across the head and the deck surface. So what happens is you'll get an overheating problem with the blown head gasket. Um, often you'll get coolant leaks. Um, the odd time, very odd time, you'll get, an, you'll get a cracked engine block. It's not too common, but we've seen it. The solution to that is actually something that, that as you said, we got patented. It's a dual diameter cylinder head stud that actually has a lot more meat grabbing in the engine block, a lot more aluminum hold, and it necks down, so it's a one-piece repair, it's a CNC machine part. So basically, these engines, they overheat, they'll pu push exhaust gas into the cooling system, and what you'll end up with is um, coolant pushing out the overflow, or the overflow tube, you'll get overheating, you'll get, uh, you know, a lot of issues that you never expected when you, when you bought a Cadillac. With an eight-year-old vehicle, though, you can expect this. I mean, it's, it's not a new vehicle. You know, a lot of them have 120, 130,000 miles on them. And it's not that they're a bad car or that they're worn out. It's just that they need some attention. So th this is the reason that we developed this dual diameter head stud. So basically what, what's happening is we're going to be drilling out and threading the original head bolt holes to accommodate our very coarse thread cylinder head stud. And so basically you'll be drilling and tapping all 20 head bolt holes. You don't want to do just one or two, you want to do them all. Then you'll be installing these, slipping your head gasket over top, nutting it down from on top, and all your torque is applied on the nuts instead of the actual head bolts. Studs are always better than bolts. It's got a more coarse thread, larger diameter, an aluminum block with dual overhead cam. And if you want to keep an STS on the road, as so many people want to do, these are going to be future classic cars. That's Any right. Cadillac out there is going to have a rep and someone's going to want to keep it on the road. You've done over 500 of these. I have, yes, yes. We, we first opened up shop in 2008. The, this whole business actually uh, got started because I, I bought a vehicle that, it was a beautiful Cadillac Eldorado, but it, you know, two months after I bought it, it exhibited the same issues. And, you know, it's, it's not something you want to have happen to you after you pay over $3,000 for what you think is a, a good used vehicle. And a lot of people are actually going through this. And so that's why we're here to offer a solution that they can count on. Prior to this, I mean, there are GM approved options to repair these and, and they involve various types of inserts, you know, heli coils and, you know, machined inserts. The problem is, is the minute Here's basically, here's one of the inserts that we pulled out of an engine block that failed a second time. And the problem with these is now you have two thread interfaces and you still have a fine thread on the exterior of the insert. So how many miles do you have to go before this pulls out as well? And Jake, not only do you sell the studs to solve the problem, but you sell a tool in a kit so that a local shop doesn't have to send it out to a machine shop. That is correct, Joe. Yeah, these tools here, um, they will allow any, any good shop to basically do the install of this, the drilling and tapping, installing the 20 head studs in about an hour and a half to two hours of their time. 
And what they get out of this is basically a happy customer and a, a repair job that won't come back to bite them. So there's been a lot of shops in the past, they've, they've used inserts. They, they swear they'll stay away from the North Stars because they don't want to have them come, come back again. We actually are in business to make sure that doesn't happen so that they can do the repair, so they can have a happy customer, they, they can do all the service needs on that Cadillac and not have any issues. You've solved problems on the top end of the engine. In a future episode, we're going to learn about your solutions for the bottom half of the engine. And for more information, you can check out the website. We'll have more Performance TV after this. Performance TV, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV. You know, you see a lot of different ideas on the internet about how to get rid of rust. Well, David, we have EvapoRust, of course, we know does a tremendous job, but we want to see how it kind of stacks up with some of these other home remedies. Right. Uh, you get a lot of advice on the internet, and a lot of it's worth what you pay for it. <laughs> right. So we're going to test uh, cola, EvapoRust, and vinegar. These are pretty common. So it's we're gonna, we've got a rusty item and we've got a piece that has mixed metals. It's a piece of a, a carburetor. So we're gonna start and just drop them in there and see how they do. So we'll take our carburetor and drop it into vinegar and our rusty part and drop it into vinegar. Yes, I let you do the vinegar part. Yeah, then we're gonna drop a vapor rust. We're gonna drop, let's drop this in because it's got more soft parts and we're gonna drop that in. If you All wanna right. do the cola. I'll go ahead, put that in there. Oh, and we, we went all the way in on yeah, that one. that's all right, that's fine. And stick that. All right, super. Well, we, it fizzes. Does that mean anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll leave these sit for a little particular amount of time and come back and kind of check out what our results are right after this. RockAuto.com, all the parts your car will ever need, including LED light bulbs. Some of them are pretty difficult to change, so why not just do it right the first time, Tom? That's right. If you ever had an older car with a burned out bulb in the instrument panel, the last thing you want to do is take it all apart and then have to do it again in a couple of years. So that, that's a good, uh, a good place to use an LED light bulb. They, uh, they withstand vibration better. They run cooler. They use less electricity. Right. And you can get different colors. So, and the last for pretty much forever, life of the car. So you do it once, you can change the color, um, you don't have to take your dash apart again. And the, the only thing to watch is make sure it works before you put everything back together, because some of them, the polarity matters. So you want to make sure you just spin it around if it's got right, positive it's and like negative a, mixed up. Right, it's not like a regular bulb in that respect where it's just getting contact, it needs to be put in a certain way. Yep, you gotta think about polarity. And not only uh, rockauto.com having the LED bulbs for instrument panels, but, you know, all over the rest of the cars, too. Yeah, we have them for side marker lights and the uh, license plate light. Yes, license plate lights. Yes, we've, we've heard stories where that's pretty important, isn't it? <laughs> but rockauto.com is a great tool, not only to be able to search and find all the parts that your car will ever need, but if you have a rockauto.com account, you'll know when you change those bulbs. That's right. There you go, rockauto.com. Like I said, all the parts your car will ever need. Well, David, we're back to see how some of these internet tips work and if they actually remove rust or not. Yep, well, let's start off with the vinegar. Let's take a look at it. Here we've got this carburetor piece in here, and you can see it's removed the plating off of this piece, whatever it was, and uh, it's actually gotten into the metal a little bit. Vinegar is an acid, so it's going to eat into soft metals. But let's see how it did on some rusty parts here. You can see there's still quite a bit of rust left. Yeah, it's, it, it, it takes some rust off, but it's, it's slow. Extremely slow. It smells. It's obviously... Uh, corrosive to almost to some of the the parts and pieces that we're trying to do and we've had this stuff in here for about two hours so speaking of corrosive sometimes our cola I, I gotta get down in here and get this is our this is our rusty piece we'll just start off with this one and see if it's really removing it didn't really do anything no it's not really doing anything here it bubbled a lot when yep. we first dropped it in so how about this the power of carbonation when we take a look at some of this, it didn't do. It's not really doing anything. a whole lot. You can see where we rusted it down in there, and it just—it's still solid rust. So, yeah. So yeah. you know, you see a lot of this stuff. Well, it was on the internet. Well, not necessarily true, but we do know what's true with evapo rust, and this stuff's not smelling or anything like that. Nope. And you can see our part here is completely de-rusted. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, that's a big difference. Look at this between the two. Oh, well, yeah. Let's look at the three. 
There we three, go. you can just see that. And that's all we dropped them in, all about the same same At exact, exact time, same time, two hours, not hurting anything. How about our, P, our carburetor here, which we have different types of metals, like you were saying. Right. Nothing has happened. The, the rust is gone, Right. but the parts are fine. There's, there's no damage to the metal at all. All it's going to do is find what's rusty, eat the rust, and then quit. Right, and if we had anything that would have been painted or anything like that, you'll just see what color the paint should have right. been. And, and the nice thing about this is it's reusable. People say, well, I want to use vinegar because it's cheap. Well, a gallon of uh, vinegar costs about $3. Even if you use it right, you get one use out of it. With evaporust, you get many uses. It's actually less expensive to use evapor rust and it works better and it's safer and it doesn't smell bad <laughs> exactly it does not smell bad i'm got you just keep that down there first of all yeah because it's definitely smelling so we have our parts they're all been done we get rid of our rust we may not be you know putting our project back together right away so what do we want to do to keep the rust from coming back david spray it with rust block aerosol okay which we now have in all o'reilly auto parts yeah, you did the have the spray bottle. I really yeah. like the aerosol the because then nice. if you're doing something where you got to spray up above or whatever, mm -hmm. you're going to have a, a much nicer stream. That's right. And once we've gotten that uh, coated like that, it's not going to rust for a year. We get ready to paint it, rinse it with water, dry it. And now we're ready to paint. We've de-rusted it and we've protected it. Wow. Well, first of all, we debunk some of the stuff that you see on the internet and we have proved once again that evaporust is the safe, easy way to go to remove your rust. You can find out more by going to their website at evapo-rust.com and we'll have more for you on Performance TV right after this. Performance TV is being brought to you by Jim Y Hitch, towing made easy. Load lugger, clip, load, zip, go. Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. And by Dustless Blasting, it's the future of surface preparation. Welcome back to Performance TV. You know, Joe, we have so many great products that we get to talk about on the show, and ZMAX is one of those that is such a simple thing to use that can do so much for your drivetrain. The modern engine is a miracle. All the things that are going on inside and all the pressure that is going on, valves and cams and bearings, to keep all those things lubricated and working well into the hundreds of thousands of miles, this is gonna help you. That's right, Z-Max is a micro lubrication. Now, folks may be wondering, what in the world is micro lubrication? It's small. It is very small. There are tiny cracks that develop inside an engine and to get an oil inside them is a bit of a challenge. Well, Z-Max, micro lubrication, very small molecules, goes into those cracks and helps continue that lubrication through the entire lifespan of the car. That's right, the, the motor oil, the transmission fluid, your fuel is actually a carrier for the Z-Max product. This isn't a, a treatment, this is a metal treatment, so to speak, but it is not something that is gonna change anything about the motor oil, the transmission fluid, or anything to let it not do its job. Well, it actually soaks into the metal, and if you think about what's going on inside an engine, the temperatures and the stress and just the friction that is ongoing, if you can get deep into the metal, you can save the wear and tear. Absolutely, and Z-Max has been around for a very long time. Joe, I know you're familiar with it. it the fact that it comes from a racing background. Carroll Shelby insisted on Z-Max in all his cars, and just that name alone is all you need to know. <laughs> Carroll Shelby, end of argument. That, Carroll Shelby, and the fact that Z-Max has been through all types of independent testing. And you can find out more about the very long list of testing that Z-Max has been through by going to their, their website. Joe, they have something, whether it's for your everyday vehicle, all the way down to your small engines. And Z-Max isn't necessarily something that you would wanna use just if you had an older car, but start off right to begin with, with your brand new vehicle. Wear and tear happens at the startup each day. Your brand new vehicle, you wanna slow that process. And by adding Z-Max, whether it be to your oil or your fuel, it is going to slow the process. They've been doing it for over 50 years, and that kind of longevity in any business is very rare, so there's something good going on here. That's right, it soaks into the metal. So by doing all of that too, Joe, we're going to, with a brand new vehicle, maintain our original horsepower. If you have an older vehicle, it's gonna to help to increase your horsepower because 
we're going to be getting rid of all of the carbons and things that have been built up over the years. People don't realize that normal driving is a process and that fuel system carbon buildup on those intake valves make a huge difference when it comes to performance. The more carbon, the less performance. ZMAX is going to help you in that area. That's right. So you think about, okay, so how many times do I need to use this? Well, for an example, let's say with our, our system here, you would want to treat about every time you do an oil change. So just about every 6,000 miles. The benefit you get from adding ZMAX is going to help you protect what might be your second largest investment behind your house. We're talking about your car, we're talking about your toy, we're talking about maybe the love of your life, why not protect? Well, you know, Joe, Z-Max is not just for your gasoline engines, but also works great with diesel as well for your heavy duty trucks. They even have special packaging that's put together just for those size engines. All the way down through your small engines, you can use it for ATVs, and how about for up in the air? Talk about raising the stakes. When you're in the air, wear and tear is something that is going to be on your mind. If you have a small plane, Z-Max can help reduce the wear and tear and the amount of hours you're putting on your hobby is uh, very considerable. And you might as well add Z-Max. And talk about raising the stakes. Your home firearm, both the bolt and the bore, you want to keep it in a ready condition, right. which means lubricated and ready to go at all times. Of course, we're talking about the sport, but we're also talking about home defense. You want to be ready to go. Why not be lubricated and ready with Z-Max? Absolutely. And they have the packaging all put together so there's no guesswork or anything like that from the the Av Blend, like you spoke about, to the Z Max for the firearms. Everything is packaged just the way you need it. So, whether it's gasoline, transmission fluid, your fuel system, and so much more, Z Max has a product for you. And, Joe, why don't you tell them what the website is? ZMAX.com. Simple as that. So, find out more. And you know what, Joe? That's all we have time for this week here on Performance TV. If you have a product that you would like to see featured on television, just shoot an email to Jeff at MastersTV.com. And we'll see you next time around on Performance TV.